defrauding. Netflix confirmed Meg not receive any penny for produce old news to cheat audience. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix content has come under fire as a royal author has branded the couple's only greenlit offering for the platform as old news. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed their partnership deal with Netflix in autumn 2020. The deal is speculated to be worth around $100 million, £72 million, and is one of a number of commercial opportunities pursued by Meghan, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, after stepping away from the royal spotlight. The couple announced two projects they were working on at the time of announcing the deal. The first is a documentary entitled Heart of Invictus, which charts competitors attending the sporting event created specifically for military servicemen and women, or veterans. The Invictus Games, launched by Prince Harry, took place last month in the Netherlands and Meghan and Harry attended the first few days of the sporting event. A Netflix film crew followed the couple around capturing footage, including the couple taking part in a driving challenge in mini Land Rovers with children, for use in the docu-series. However, a royal author and branding expert claims the public may not be interested in this content by the time it's streamed on Netflix. Saleh Ottens, co-author of Royal Fever, the British monarchy in consumer culture, claimed by the time the show comes out its content is old news. She notes this is because royal watchers have already seen how the event unfolded on social media at the time, and may not care to watch the show charting it months later. She notes this is because the world has changed so much and we often consume media instantaneously and through social media rather than traditional routes. Ms. Ottens, a professor of marketing specializing in how the royal family brands themselves told, you know, my big concern about this whole Netflix thing is, that the world has changed so much. The world has changed in that when you film all these things like the Invictus Games, we've already seen it all on social media. Why do I want to watch the documentary in two months? I mean, it's old news. Prince Harry, who founded the games, is expected to appear in the show as well as serve as executive producer on the series. In a statement announcing the project, the Duke said, Since the very first Invictus Games back in 2014, we knew that each competitor would contribute in their own exceptional way to a mosaic of resilience, determination, and resolve. Prince William is reportedly wary about Harry's presence at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee amid concerns he will leak details of private conversations. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been told that a Netflix film crew following them will be stopped by royal enforcers if they attempt to film the celebrations. But the Duke of Cambridge is reported to be fearful that the contents of any heart-to-heart -heart talk with his younger brother at the special occasion could end up being made public on Harry and Meghan's show on the streaming service. William and Kate are said to be worried that the couple, who sensationally quit royal duties for a new life in the US, could pull a stunt that will take the spotlight away from the Queen as she celebrates 70 years on the throne. The strained relationship between the two siblings was understood to have been damaged by the Sussexes' bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in which they claimed an unnamed member of the royal family made racist comments and said Kate brought Meghan to tears. William and Harry have not met since they unveiled a statue of their mum Diana, Princess of Wales, in July last year. A source told The Sun, William wants to talk to Harry to try to heal the rift between them but he's fearful it will find its way onto Netflix, Oprah or into Harry's upcoming book. Harry and Meghan have said they will attend the Jubilee festivities with their children Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 11 months. Royal biographer Tom Bauer added to The Sun, William will worry that Harry and Meghan will pull a stunt to try to get the limelight and Meghan will pull a stunt